It was a lovely day. My pleasure. to speak to you. Yes, Father? It's about Senor Bartley. What about him? I must ask you not to see him again. Why can't I... That should not be too much to ask. He will be leaving Rio Blanco in a few days. But why can't I see him? Teresa, while you were out, Captain Chavez was here. He brought me disturbing news. The government has found out that Senor Bartley helped Vicente Ruiz escape to the United States. More than that, Ruiz is now living on the Barclay Rancho in California. But how does that concern us? Teresa, you are not a child. You know the atmosphere of the country as well as I do. Chavez did not come here to gossip. He came as a friend with a warning. He was advising us to have nothing more to do with this friend of Ruiz. You are afraid of Chavez? Only a fool would not be afraid. He could ruin me. I will not risk incurring the displeasure of the Diaz government over nothing. Nothing? Flirtation. He does more than that. You may call it whatever you wish, but it must stop. Teresa! You may think of me as you wish. You may call me a fool, you may patronize me as a frightened old man. But you cannot disobey me in this. Good night, Papa. going to do? I don't know. I want to go home. Home? Oh. Pepe, do you know what that really means? I know what Jacobo said to Senor Nick, that the people are waiting for you. Even so, Diaz will not run at the sound of the first shot. It will mean months, at least months of living in the mountains, hiding, fighting, being haunted. I don't care. But I care for you, Pepe. That was my life. I don't want that for you. I promised your mother. That was your promise, Papa, not mine. All right. Good night, Pepe. We will talk in the morning, make our decisions. One thing is sure, we cannot stay here. I will not bring my troubles to the house of my friends. Good night, Pepe. Jared? Hello, Nick. Well, I'm sure glad to see you. Something wrong? We had just a little bit of trouble this afternoon. The trouble has returned, Senor. Well, well. Do you have the feeling we should know these gentlemen, Nick? The Diaz men after the city. Get the others, Leon. Now then. Into the house. Move, andale. was just coming up to get you, General. Vamos, Vicente. 
You're coming with us. It's a long way to the border, gentlemen. I doubt that you'll ever make it. And all the way south, every lawman's going to be on your trail. If you wish to see the general die, that is up to you. I promise you, you will never get him back alive. <laughs> Inside, my son. I'm in a hurry. Too big a hurry to say goodbye? Goodbye, Heath. Now, look, this whole thing doesn't make sense to me. One day we're fine, and the next day I get a note telling me to saddle up and ride. Now, if I've done anything wrong... You did nothing wrong. Well, then what is it? It's... It's my father. He's afraid. Afraid of what? Of you. And the fact that you're a friend of General Ruiz. Well, he knew that. But he didn't know you helped him to escape. That he's living on your rancho. Well, what's that got to do with He that? forbid me to see you. Oh, Heath, you don't understand because you don't live here. You come, you stay a while, you go. But we must stay. Stay with the fear that everything we have could be taken from us. Because somebody doesn't like what we do or say. Or the people we have for friends. How can you live like that? Because we've never lived any other way. I must go now. I'm sorry it had to end like this. It had to end some way, sometime. I'm not so sure about that. Your Barclay. I have been looking for you, senor. Captain Chavez would like to see you before you leave Rio Blanco. What's he want? He didn't say, senor. Uh, the captain is in his office. Would you come? Senor, I'm afraid I cannot permit you to leave Rio Blanco. Why not? Let's stop pretending, eh, Senor? I know that you helped Vicente Ruiz the night that he left Rio Blanco. I also know that your family is giving him refuge on your ranch in California. You are guilty of obstructing justice, Senor. 
You are under arrest. I'm Nick Barkley. Permit me. Mexican consul? In San Francisco. Oh, come on in. Right this way. Mother of Senor Cortinas, Mexican consul. I am honored, Senora. Senor, please sit down. Gracias. You uh, will forgive me for calling on you unexpectedly. That's all right. May I offer you something? Oh, gracias, no. Senora, I know of the unfortunate incident which took place here last week. Incident? Well, my home was invaded in an attempt to kidnap a friend and two men were killed. Now, to my mind, that's uh, something a little more than an incident. Oh, of course, I did not intend to minimize the affair. It was tragic. However, Senora, this official expression of regret does not mean that my government is not interested in obtaining the custody of Vicente Ruiz. He is charged with a crime. We wish him return to Mexico to stand trial. Well, you obviously want something from me, but what? Your cooperation. Cooperation? Well, you have given Vicente Ruiz refuge in your home. He's a guest in our home, if that's what you mean. Ruiz is a criminal, senora. He was a bandit in the Sierra Madre for years. Is that why Diaz took him into the government? The president, he made a mistake in that appointment, senor. One he now acknowledges and is determined to rectify. And now you throw Vicente into a dark dungeon over some trumped-up charge. Well, now you listen to me. Nick. Well, now what are we talking to him for, Mother? What could he possibly say that would interest us? Those are good questions. Yes, and uh, I will try to answer, senora. The Barclay family has rather extensive financial interests in my country. Oh, so that's it. We kick Vicente out of our house so your hired guns can grab him and haul him back to Mexico. Or Diaz will make an awful lot of trouble for us. I would suggest you think about it. There is nothing to think about. My son is right. If you're threatening to confiscate our property unless we withdraw our support of the general, you... Well, you'll just simply have to make good your threat. But why, senora? Why such a sacrifice for Vicente Ruiz? Does he mean so much to you? Yes. I still ask, why? Senor, my husband and I were in Mexico 30 years ago at the outbreak of the war between our two countries. We were working in Durango. And as Norte Americanos, we were arrested as enemy aliens. We could have been executed. I believe we would have been had it not been for a young bandit and his men who were up in the hills around Durango fighting Santa Ana and his men. Vicente Ruiz? Yes. He and his men raided Durango, rescued my husband and myself, and took us with them into the hills. We lived with them, he protected us, and eventually he got us back to the United States border. Vicente Ruiz and his men saved our lives, some at the cost of their own. Now does that answer your question? Yes, and I am sorry. Sorry? That you feel such a great obligation to Vicente Ruiz. It will make your decision that much more difficult. What decision? Senora, your son Heath has been arrested. Arrested? For what? For aiding Vicente Ruiz to escape from Mexico. He is in jail in Rio Blanco, awaiting trial. Senora, your son could receive the death penalty for his crime. 